two transversal proportionality corollary. We're at 7.4b. And if you remember, a corollary is a theorem whose proof follows directly from another proof. So that's going to make sense in what we're going to do. We have seven previous videos for Chapter 7 that are in the Geometry Playlist if you need them. So, in the last video, 7.4a, we learned if a line parallel to a side of a triangle intersects the other two sides, then it divides those sides proportionally. That was the Triangle Proportionality Theorem. And, regardless of the position of the red line, AB, from here to here, this whole side, and AC, from here to here, this whole side, will be divided proportionally if this line EF is parallel to BC. So it doesn't matter where we move this, we can move it up or down, it's going to divide it proportionally if it's parallel to BC, okay? Which leads us to the two transversal proportionality corollary. And it says, if three or more parallel lines intersect two transversals, then they divide the transversals proportionally. So we have this segment AC over CE is equal to BD over DF, and they're proportional. So here we have two black transversals, and regardless of the position of the red lines, from A to E and B to F will be divided proportionally if the red lines are parallel to each other. So I can move these around and change their position. And as long as they're parallel to each other, they're still going to be proportional, OK? So take a look at this diagram. This is a tree line street. And this is tree A, so this point here is A, and that's K. We have B up here in L, C and M, and D and N. So it goes A, B, C, D, K, L, M, N. And we can see the distance between A and B, and B and C, and C and D. And we have the distance between K and L, okay? So Emma used perspective to draw guidelines to help her sketch a row of parallel trees. So her guidelines are this light line up here and this dark line beneath the trees here and connecting these through the trees, okay? And she checked the drawing by measuring the distances between the trees. We need to find L, N. So it's going to skip over M. We need this segment right here, LN, all right? So it's given that AK is parallel to BL, which is parallel to CM, which is parallel to DN. And using the two transversal proportionality corollary, we can write that KL, this part right here, over LN from L to N, is equal to AB, because it corresponds to this one, over BD, skipping this tree here, because that would correspond to here, the LN, okay? The segment addition postulate says BD, from B to D, the top of this tree to the top of that tree, is equal to BC plus CD, adding these two together. Well, that's the segment addition postulate, and BC is a 1.4, sorry about my focus here, I put my hand in front, it does that. So BC is a 1.4 and CD is a 2.2. We add these two together and we're going to have BD, right? That makes sense. So that's going to equal 3.6 centimeters, substituting the values in. And we can write 2.6, which is the KL right here, okay? Let's do the focus again. So we have 2.6, and that's going to be over the LN. Then we're going to have 2.4 over the 3.6 we just found. So AB right here is 2.4, and it's going to be over this total of 3.6. Because this part corresponds to this part, and this length corresponds to LN, okay? 
So now we've got our values substituted in, we can use cross products property. We can do 2.4 times LN and 3.6 times 2.6. 3.6 times 2.6 is 9.36. We can divide both sides by the 2.4 and we find that the segment LN is equal to 3.9 centimeters for her drawing. Okay. Now take a look at this diagram. This is the map of an area in Manhattan in New York City and the approximate length of several streets. So here's Broadway, here's Avenue of the Americas, and we have numbered streets 34th, 35th, 36th that cross through them. So it would be Broadway and Avenue of the Americas would be the transversals and the 36th, 35th, and 34th streets would be the parallel lines. So we know 36th Street, 35th Street, and 34th Street are parallel to each other. Okay? And we've got 250 feet along the Avenue of the Americas over 240 feet, and that will be equal to X over 275 using the corresponding parts, okay? So we have 35th Street, 34th Street to 35th Street by the Avenue of Americas, this little part right here, is going to be over 35th to 36th by Avenue of Americas, and it's going to be equal to 34th Street right here over 35th to 36th right here, okay? So we've got this. We can do cross products. We can do 240x is equal to 275 times 250. And 275 times 250 is 68,750. We can divide both sides by the 240, and we find out that the missing measure is approximately 286 feet. So we needed to find this area right here between 34th and 35th Street along Broadway, and we know it's about 286 feet, okay? I think it was like 286.4 or something like that, but it wanted it to the nearest foot, okay? Our next lesson is going to be the Triangle Bisector Theorem 7.4c. Then we're going to move on to 7.5 and talk about using proportional relationships and similarity perimeter and area ratio and proportional perimeter and areas theorem, okay? So we're moving along, and... I hope you understood the lesson, and I hope you're okay, and I hope I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.